Hey everyone, it's Meredith from Below the Fork. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video today because sometimes it's just much easier to talk than it is to type. Um, so I just wanted to give an update on my um, partnership with Produce for Kids as well as my own personal campaign that has sort of um, blossomed out of this, uh, which I'm calling Ditch the Fish. Um, so first, Produce for Kids, as I've mentioned, I am so honored and proud to be working with them. Um, this healthy eating campaign, they've done it for 13 years now. This year they've partnered with Acme. Um, and the whole goal is, one, to inform and give empower parents to make great choices for their kids. Because it, it really does start with us. Um, and two, while they're doing that and partnering with these great companies that um, like Holy Guacamole, Earthbound Farms with their organic greens, love them. I buy them anyway all the time. Um, Hass Avocados. Um, they are donating money to food banks across the country. How awesome is that? So um, full disclosure, I did receive a $50 gift card um, from Produce for Kids to Acme. So I just got back there from there um, and uh, I made very good use of that uh, gift card. I bought, um, sorry, there's a bug out here. Um, I bought holy guacamole, lots of greens that I'm so excited to spin into a smoothie and just in salads and stuff into sandwiches. Um, I got avocados, I got pistachios, I got, I basically just shopped the perimeter of the store in the produce section. I got a lot of meats um, and a little bit of dairy as well. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I wanted to also give an update on um, how my family's doing, that we've given up processed snacks. Um, and now we're, we're in week three. And you know what? I don't really even notice that short of me just feeling like good about what's going into their tummies like they're not asking for goldfish not wondering where the pretzels are or anything like that um, so I should I should say too I don't know if I've been clear about this I'm gluten free I have issues with gluten my kids um, my oldest son has been tested for celiac so far it's come back negative um, so I, I keep them on a regular diet of um, whole wheat and and other um, other stuff that I personally can't eat our main meals um, like dinner time always gluten-free um, but they do have regular like whole wheat bread as their sandwich and they were getting goldfish as I've mentioned <laughs> um, so that is one thing that has changed in the last three weeks I've since replaced it with um, for instance, um, my son and I today, we shared half a cantaloupe and he just thought it was the absolute best thing ever that we were literally scooping it out of um, its, its uh, shell and um, he's eating uh, trail mix right now, homemade with cashews, almonds, peanuts, um, some healthier dark chocolate chunks um, and raisins. And just overall, I feel really confident about um, the changes that we have made. Another sticking point is throughout the school year, we got into a really bad rut, or I did, with offering them for breakfast frozen pancakes and frozen waffles. And you know, it doesn't matter that I was getting the organic ones from Trader Joe's. It's not about that, because it's still crap. Like, it really is. Organic, yes, yeah, slightly better, but not, not with the the extent of the processing so I'm happy to say that we've had more eggs and produce and so many other wholesome items for them but of course in the middle of all of this when I'm trying to like ooh smoothies like you want to drink one just like mommy does my Nutribullet died and it's like uh, it's my favorite appliance well after the coffee maker obviously um, and it died so right now I'm in this weird limbo stage where um, Nutribullet's dead, and I ordered a Ninja, which I'm so excited about, but it, I don't get it until Wednesday, so I'm in this weird limbo period, and I'm kind of going through withdrawal, and uh, I'm bummed, too, because I had really started to get them. Um, my 18-month-old, he'll eat up smoothies like nobody's business, but my 5-year-old, I was just really starting to get him into it and making popsicles and, and all sorts of stuff, and then it went and died on me. So, to be continued, and I will most certainly give an update and a product review once I receive that. Anyway, I'm getting a little off track here. Um, that's what's going on in my family. Um, I'm just really pleased with how we've turned our snack habits around. I've also been getting a lot, um, aside from like more carrots and veggies and um, actual like nature-made, God-made food, 
um, doing some more chips. And I know when you hear that word, because I feel that way too, it's like, wait a minute, chips, those are not healthy at all. However, there are some that um, I've, I've had really good luck at like Trader Joe's um, where there's maybe five or six ingredients, all that you know and can pronounce, no chemicals, no MSG, no, um, no GMO, like no junk. Um, and, and I feel way better serving them that when they, when you just need the crunch sometimes. Um, and I think that's what they're missing from the goldfish. Um, so these, these sort of chips, like I had, um, veggie and flaxseed ones earlier today. So, um, just, you know, investigate. I went to the store by myself the other day and, and sometimes you do need to do that and, and take the time to really look at the labels and not have the distraction of the kids. Um, fortunately mine are really good about not urging, you know, junk be put in the basket, but it's still, you know, let's get in, let's get out. I know my list. Boom, 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 done. Um, but it was really nice to just walk the aisles and, and kind of check out other options. So anyway, I would love to hear your ideas and um, good snack ideas. I had posted um, last week 45 plus healthy snack ideas that you and your kids will love, so that's always an option. But if there's anything I missed, I would love to hear from you because we're only in week three, so yeah, everyone's excited and everything, but I'm just kind of waiting if we're going to hit that point where, you know, they're they're going to want the junk back or, or feel bored with what I'm serving them. I hope it doesn't come to that. But if you have any good ideas, please let me know in the comment section below. And um, I hope you all are doing well. See you later.